Welcome back, and I got a little bit of a very specialized, targeted, uh, you know, instruction on how to do the rear brakes for that caliper and the piston that you got to turn in and push in at the same time, and how to use the tool. So, if you follow on this video, I'm going to show you how to put this tool together, and then, of course, put it into the caliper, and then turn that caliper plunger piston back in and get it seated back down so you can put the new brake pads in. A uh, very simple device, but it does take a little bit of effort as you'll see in this video. It is all about the fun as they told me, but uh, this is a special uh, brake caliper tool. Uh, we gotta go and find out which uh, piece that I need to have to uh, put on here, but Essentially, you just take and slide it on this end of this tool like so. It's magnetic, so it sticks right on there. And uh, this here is the uh, pushes on the caliper at the same time, pushes away. It pushes on here, so you turn it in and you screw it, and then you got to take and you got to turn this in, and, and it, it's complicated. I'll show you how, to, how it works. Now, I've selected the right size and I don't know what size it says but I can't read the number. Size 7 it looks like. Yeah, it's size 7. It's got a 7 on it. So, oh lord. Anyway, you got to put this on here. Real simple folks. Just like so. Slide it through the through the T here. You slide it through and then boom, you got it. Okay, that's all it takes this is going to push back while you're pushing on this okay so you just take and basically have it like so and then of course as you screw it back it pulls and pushes forces the caliper in and then you turn this like so and then you can screw it back in as you go and I'll show you it in action but it turns it as it goes in so sometimes you have to adjust it back or forward but that's basically how it works. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, as you can see, I have the uh, caliper right here. So you take the tool, and the, remember you slide that bracket right back here against the stop of the caliper. Now, you gotta back it off a bit to get it set. And I got it backwards here. Let me slide it around here a bit. Oh! Yeah, it takes more than one hand, but let's put that back on here again. There we go. So as you can see, got it in here, and I got the tabs set up. So now I can start putting force by screwing it backwards. I do this. Now we go clockwise or counterclockwise, depending what you got to do. And basically what you do is you turn it and it's not exactly the easiest thing to do. But you gotta back it off a bit. And then you just keep turning it. And uh, one other way to do it is to get a wrench on it. But as you can see it's starting to go in and then I just back it off just a little bit. Makes it a little easier. But you just keep turning it, but eventually it starts going in. So now I gotta get something on here to undo this. Yeah, it was a little bit harder than I thought, so. There we go. I think I got it. Okay, now the problem is, you see this here. Where's the tabs? So now I gotta get the tabs mounted straight up, like so. They have to go up and down just like this. Right now they're at an angle. So we'll have to put this back in and we will have to line it up and get it set at exactly
exactly the uh, right position. So again, there we go. Now I can tighten it back up. Remember, we gotta move the angle over here. So we'll take and loosen this, see where we're at. Do I have it straight? And I have it lined up perfectly with this nub right here on the top. So now the brake shoes will fit in here. And I'll show you what the brake shoe has to fit into. Now, when you go to put it in, the nub right here, the little uh, nipple sticking up, you can see that. Okay, when you go to put it in, and you have your calipers in and everything, you want to make sure that that pad sits in there, okay? No matter how you look at it, it has to sit in there, into that when it's pressed in. Going in, you'll see that this is here, this is how it's supposed to look. You have the backing plate, it fits in the bottom, and then it catches it at the bottom, and then it seats right in like so. And then that's how it is. That's how it all works. So anyway, just got to get it all situated, put in there, and then you can get it hooked up. As you saw, I uh, was working on it. You had to do a lot of twisting and turning. And I tell you what, it's not for the faint of heart. Those things can be hard to turn. But I got it in, got it turned in. And of course the brake pads were seated back into the calipers and we got brakes again. But remember, put that little nipple that's on that brake pad down in there and line that back up. Very important fact. But I hope it helps you as far as using this tool to install your rear brakes on your 2011 through 2014 Ford Edge and maybe even does some needed work for uh, the uh, 2015 plus models. But uh, that is how the tool works. And again, this is Mac T Ford Edge. And join up on Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook. Join the group and also subscribe to YouTube, this channel. And of course, ring that bell to get those notifications. And Mercy Girl is going to give us a little bit of music and her one liners. But remember, my feet hit the floor today, and I'm having a great day. And I want you to have a great day, too. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Girl production.